Bows. Bows. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. They said let the song play, they said you gotta let the song play a little longer, E. You be cutting it off. I'ma let you niggas hear it today. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk, yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk, it's a unique hustle. Boss Talk, yeah, we came from the struggle. Boss Talk, say you looking for the best. Boss Talk, we ain't worried about the rest. Boss Talk, tell me who's hot, who's not, who really on top, who got they on shop. The hustle don't stop. Same old shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy, <laughs> ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad, walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, t- Snapchat, TikTok, you name it, we're on it. Just type Boss Talk Podcast 101 in Google, and it will pop up everywhere. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to hop on over to our YouTube channel. That's where you can see all our visuals. If you want exclusive content now, that's where you're going to have to sign up for a membership. How you find our membership is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that. It takes you through all the instructions. Thank you in advance. Because y'all always see us in the street and be like, how can we support a brand? We love what y'all doing. Keep it up. This is how you can support a brand. Buy our memberships. Thank you in advance. Man, guys, y'all heard what she said. Y'all got to get with it. Uh, it's going down, man. Um, you know, man, um, I do a lot of interviews, and y'all always see a lot of people on Boss Talk 101. Thank you guys for always, always riding with us, right? We got a guy here today. He don't really need no introduction, man. This guy right here be hustling, working. He he got it out the mud. He out them sticks. Palestine, Texas. Yes, sir. It's going yes, sir. down. Yes, sir. Little yes, bubble sir. Yes, is sir. in the building. Yes, sir. Stop yes, playing. Sir. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> no introduction. Boy, that <laughs> intro series. I, he hails, nigga. I go all the way in. Don't play, nigga. I got some fun, nigga, over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, Mr. Jamaica. <laughs> no, for real. So, from Palestine, East Texas. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, raised with your mom and dad? Yeah, my uh, my stepdad, but he he like my real dad. But yeah, okay. So, sure. where's your real dad though? Man, somewhere. Do you know him? I met him one time, but he was uh on his deathbed. I think mm. he he was like getting ready to pass, but he shook back and shit. But okay, so that's when you met him for the first time. I met him for the first time. How old were you? Young. Sixteen. Sixteen. That nigga like Keefy D. That's what they said happened to Keefy D. They said Keefy D started telling on Pac and everybody and thought he was going to die and shook back and now he locked up. <laughs> this nigga done wrote a whole damn book. You know he what thought saying? he was dead. <laughs> I told him to say, the fuck? Wow. Say, go ahead. So did, you, did your mama tell you about him before this? Or it was it a shock she just told you like, hey? Yeah, she told me about him. We, we knew about him and shit, but um, you know what I'm saying? I, I was one of them kids like I always felt like I was a little smarter than what I was you know Mm -hmm. so I just really feel like um my stepdad was there and he wasn't you know so at 16 what can you do really Mm -hmm. you know by then my stepdad done filled those shoes from then to now to then you know what I mean so as they didn't feel no no need or nothing I ain't want to be there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Roll always, over, nigga. Die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to be there. Nigga, you... No, nah, hell no. Nah. Nah. What you got? You got anything for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put me on the wheel before you yeah, go. You, what you got? You got something? Nah, Let me see but, what you're holding. You see, y'all, y'all looking at that part of it, but for me, I'm looking at a part where I need to know, okay... What health issues you have? Because, you know, DNA is something else. I need to know what health issues in your side of the family. I need to know certain things so I can, you know, educate my kids on that, educate myself. What do I need to go get checked up for? You yeah. understand? Because some things yeah. get passed on. I feel like, though, the, the shit that they be putting out here in the medicine and the food is what give these people, well, you give see, us he, health he issues. like me, ain't he? Mm-hmm. That nigga smart, ain't he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I, I feel you on that. I think you go running up there too much, you ain't coming back no way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Keep running up there. Food has a lot to do with no, it. No, no, no. Them people but up there testing on you. The food too. that that they testing, they run experiments. That's true. Them no, no, that's true. <laughs> but did but the reason why I said DNA has a lot to do with certain things. Just like I've seen people who even came on here and would say, you know what, I never met my my daddy before. But then I would always wonder, why do I do this? Why do I do that? Even we had a producer the other day. Um, he loved music, did all of that. Nobody else in his family do music. 
he, he thought his daddy was dead till he did some search, found out about his daddy. He was in his 30s when he found out about his daddy. Mm. He ca- reached out, called him up, went over to see him. When he went to see him, his daddy has guitars, pianos, all of that stuff yeah. in his house. Mm, that's dope. And you see it, what and I mean? And he yeah, that's dope. So that's, that's where eight, he that's get dope. it from. He got eight Grammys, too. Eight, eight Grammys. Yeah, oh, the dude. That's hard. We just interviewed him in Vegas. I'm about yeah. to put that one out. Yeah, that's yeah, hard. Yeah, that's I mean, hard. we in it to win it. Man. And his dad, you know his dad is a musician, Long all track. of that sort of stuff. <laughs> he ended up performing with his daddy one time. Then yeah. his dad passed away, didn't he? No, his dad ain't passed away. Yeah, I thought he time. passed away. Was he passed away that yeah, time? I, I, I can't remember that We're going to find out on the, when the interview drops. I know. <laughs> yeah, you're giving up exclusives right now. <laughs> Man. Let's but that's it. the reason why I say DNA still have a lot to do with stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, um, so siblings? Yeah. I got uh, two brothers, two sisters. So you grew up with, so you are like youngest, I'm oldest. I'm a baby. Baby boy. Yeah, I'm a baby. Spoiled? I wouldn't say spoil. Like things his own way? Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, so you spoiled. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, but I, I was like, my brother and them, I'm going to say they was in the house playing a game, and my brother was good at football. And um, so they would be in the house playing a game, and I would be mm-hmm. outside with my stepdad, mom in the yard, feeding oh, the dogs, okay. helping with the horses. So I kind of like, I always worked for mine. Whether he was mm-hmm. giving me $20 to mow the yard or $40 to do something, I always work for mine so I could take my girl to the goddamn me movies or something. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I always wanted to get my own money. Yeah. So that's shit. Good. So I really just started hustling. Like mm-hmm. that twenty dollars stock, it was it wasn't enough. Wasn't After a while, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get more to this dub, daddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's good though. So when did you start doing the music? How old were you? Oh man, I ain't gonna lie. I was messing around in high school, like bullshit and saying some shit I wasn't supposed to be saying. Going with the interview because when she started breaking to the music, we needed to stop anyway. But that's my domain and I protect those who come into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The music, man, that's what I do. I am music. I am, uh, yeah, I stood to put a music symbol. I seen a nigga put a music symbol on his neck. That nigga couldn't even sing. I was locked <laughs> up with that nigga. I locked up with that nigga. He yeah. talked about, I said, why you got this symbol on your neck? Oh, uh, yeah, I really, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I got an ear for the music. Nigga, please. He just love it. I got an ear for the music, nigga. Yeah, you don't know nothing about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You been messing around a while. I see y'all. Old school. Me. It ain't nothing like the old school, man. You He's know what I'm saying? I got it right now. I'm going to put it up. You were young as hell, too, nigga. Yeah, I was a young nigga, but I, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this forever. This stuff been 18 years, man. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. You're not going to do on, that. On, You're not going to do that. So who, so who, uh-uh. so who used to, um, who did you hear with the music before you started doing it? Your mom, your dad, your stepdad? Oh, hang on. Let me tell y'all about did this. It? Yeah. My mom, um. My mom didn't want me rapping. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, because rapping then you know, parents be like, that ain't going to make you no money. Yeah, so I kind of, I, it was finna start off like I was finna start sneaking and doing it. Mm. And then I heard, um, I had did like some shit. I was talking about a bunch of kids in school. You know, they call that shit a diss track, but I'm going to just say I was talking about kids in school. We're going to keep it professional. <laughs> and shit, and uh, she heard it. And I was talking about some girls, you know, but they little girls at this time. Like, not little girls, but 17, 16. We right. are our kids. So, they parents go to call. And my mom, man, she instantly, get that shit off the internet. So, I had to take it down and all that. So, my, as I'm continuing to do music, I'm sneaking and doing it in the car. Recording music in the car. Late at night, smoking with my homeboys. And they hearing music at the house. My dad like, that's him rapping. My stepdad <laughs> like, that's him rapping. I hear him. That's him on the song. You feel me? But as time went on, they see you not leaving it alone. Oh, they my biggest fans now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they support me. Like, I get in the truck with my dad. Like, that's all I hear. And he ain't doing it because I'm in the car. It's just coming on, you know, automatic. So, uh, yeah. But starting out, tell me about some of the road bumps because I know that a lot of people, a lot of kids be watching and be like, you know, been trying to hustle, trying to do this, trying to do this, but be getting very all the nose, not getting a hit. It's discouraging. Yeah, so very. tell me about those times when you were discouraged, but how did you overcome that over that bump? Um I get discouraged and um uh, some days I still get discouraged with this shit. But uh man, hey. my fans. My fans. Just people that really genuinely support me makes me keep going with this. Cause like with uh without them I ain't, you know, that with when I'm down and 
you know, I'm depressed or anything about it. And they calling and they like, bro, I really feel you. I really relate to you. I really know you really went through that. And like, they really know it word for word. Or they'll hit me and send me a message in a DM like, yo, 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 say something. And I'll open it and like it. And I can't believe you read it or responded and shit like that. It just blows me because I'm like, I'm just little old me. You know right. what I mean? But it it makes a day and it just, it be just so crazy to them that, I'll hit them back or, you know what I mean? Just anything. Mm -hmm. Just, man, the fans, bro. Just the people, like, that got love for me is really, you know, that right. what helps me keep But going. it's not cheap to do this at all. Oh, no, it costs. It costs a lot. It costs a bunch, and especially when you really want to, like, right now, like, just jumping up and coming out here, you're going to spend some money. Like, right. Coming to another city, another state, you're going to spend money. It costs money, you know, but it's an investment. But you just got to make. Like it's if you if you was in the drug game, mm -hmm. right? If we was in the drug game, which none of us are, but if we was, we would want the best quality shit, right? Right. That's the same shit with this shit. You're gonna have to spend some money to make some money. Like that's in any game. It take money to make money. Same shit with this. And I just feel like for you in order for you not to spend your wheels with this game, you have to really stand out. Just kind of like this podcast. Like, this is one of the podcasts. I ain't never been to nothing like it. This song gone right, ain't it? Look, Bubba just <laughs> told y'all niggas you better try to get over here if you can. You know what I mean? You got to work, man. Look, Bubba put that work in. That's why he on Boss Talk 101, man. Uh, man, listen, man. I've seen you and D-Baby do a lot of work together. What was the thing that linked you guys together? Like, how did you know that? How did you guys build that chemistry and that rapport? We was recording at Sugar Hill. Shout out Sugar Hill Studios. Um, same studio. And I was always seeing him um, back and forth. I'll see D in the studio. He'll see me. You know what I mean? And um, He started going up really heavy. And we was, put in mind, we've been recording at the same studio since we both started. And um, as I'm just watching him go up, I'm just like, but I'm proud of you, you feel me? I don't watch you go from nothing to mm -hmm. this. I got all the old pictures of us and shit, you know? So I was just like, it's time. You feel me? He like, let's do it. You feel me? So we get in the booth. We crack jokes for four hours. The song took 10 minutes, but we crack jokes four hours. I fall asleep. They playing with me in their sleep. I'm like, God dang, bro. You can't go to sleep around now. You feel me? So I right, shit, I'm fucking with them when they go to sleep. We just having fun and. You know, we go in there and we cook up big. You know That's what I'm saying? True. And I'm just like, I'm trying to tell my homeboys we're going big. You know, so the whole time I'm saying that, and that's all I can hear myself in my head saying, we going big, we going big. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking of that. So start thinking about all the niggas that doubted me, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, you feel me? I was just like, they got to watch me win. And right. The more, I, the more I was doing the song, the more I knew. This song finna go up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, when I walked out the booth, I told the producer then, I was like, hey, can't rush the vibe. You know, Randa, I was like, hey, can't rush the vibe. We're gonna touch over a meal with this one. I was like, yeah, we'll see. You know what you I'm saying? It. Like that. Yeah. Two weeks later, that boy, M ticket. Mm. Two weeks, M ticket. M ticket. Like, how did that feel to even, you know, to, 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 to cross? Cross that line like that to do it. I ain't gonna lie, it was very exciting watching it touch a meal, but then when they hit it, it was like, okay. Which song was that? Going big. Going big. And was that your first one, right? That's your first yeah. one to ever hit that meal. Yeah, that well, was how, the first I, one. Give me a little end. bit of your verse on that. Uh, how the fuck would grow up in a sandbox and you treat me like you don't know me and you start having kids and I don't even get to know them. They probably hate me because I'm up. I had to starve in Oklahoma. My own family don't come around. They only call when they want me. He ain't fuck with me then. He ain't fucking with me now. Why that nigga acting like a nigga from out of town? She watch me for my codeine. I watch in her tie. He want to be a gangster to that contract sign. Real street nigga from the steam, not the stein. Rubber band around my tent. I did it ten times. R.P. the pimp, see, I still see what? lines. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nah, Yo, ain't that line? That's a Texas nigga, man. That nigga say R.I.P. the pimp, see, I knew it would come in. <laughs> this shit is not nothing to play nah, with, nigga. For real. We serious about that down here, hey, man. Hey, for real. And, and, and like, like, what, what, uh, you done said the name, you know, that you just shut the show off for a minute. Like, <laughs> what was it that stick out to you to even mention the pimp like that, man? Man, pimp, see, dog, he was so player, man, and, 
Like, I just ain't never been one of them guys, you know, uh, and no offense don't when I say this, but, like, you know, people be wanting to have, like, two guys with a girl. Like, I just ain't never been one of them guys. I'm just a player, man. Like, I'm going to have my own woman. I ain't finna be in the room, run no train with no niggas. I ain't doing none of that, dog. That like, pimp? I'm pimp. He player. Like, and, like my daddy, he swinging, swingers. He swinging, taking me through the block, jamming Pimp C. So, when I got older and realized who Pimp C was as a man, he a player. And I'm just feel like I'm just so player in my heart. Like, man, I love Pimp. What, like, was, <laughs> what was the song your pops used to play? Man, boy, I can't lie Which to one? Boy, I don't know, boy. I don't know, boy. It was a bunch of It was a bunch of It probably, what year was it? Well, shit, he used to ride around, man, and jam. I know Andre 3000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's that era. That's that era. Yeah, man. It was the era with Cadillacs. But look, not only that. That's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that was that big dog. boy. Who, who, who sung that uh, 25 lighters on my dress? Oh, I got yes, to sir. get paid. I got to get Who was that? that? that that's a, uh, hey, uh, Lil Troy. Mm. It was in that era. Yeah, yeah, that era, it was boy. in that era. Riding through that boy. Man, that, listen, man, that, that pimp say, uh, let me see it, let me see it, being over, let me see it. That boy, that man, bun coming that in out so real. hard. That strip club used to be jumping. I was out there bad back then. I yeah. know I was in that thing, man. In eight. <laughs> in eight. Hey, right. I'm serious. I was down there, strokers and everywhere. Even in Harlem Nights in Houston, back here at DG's in Dallas. I'm all over the map back then. Oh, you was outside. What? It wasn't even that called outside. What y'all call it? Man, we just be, man, you know, like. Post it up. What y'all say man, back in the gap? Back in the gap, man. Woo. You know, they out outside, baby. Man, nah, that's, 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 that came from, that was the Mo 3 thing once everybody heard that Mo 3 was on my outside. Nah. Yeah, nah, bro. Nah, nah. Yeah, bro. I, I can't lie to you, bro. How long y'all been doing the outside look, thing? Look, look. Hey, it wasn't the Mo 3. It was the Mo 3 thing. No, I never heard that before. No. That. Hell For no. real? I'm going to be real with you. I, I heard, look, first young nigga I heard saying that he was going around a bunch of niggas. I'm going to go ahead and say it. A little nigga named Tuffy Doe. This okay. was before the okay. record was out. Little Tuffy, he was, I'm outside. I'm like, what the fuck is this little nigga talking about? Like, he posting on Instagram. I'm outside. But as time went on, everybody, I'm outside. Really? I'm like, okay. And nigga, I found myself saying, nigga, we outside, we outside. tonight. Yeah, and, man. And killing it. Yeah, man. I don't think that I was mean, it was like a dog. It was already, it was some words we were doing too. Mm. It was it was different things. And you know, the T John thing, all that's that's yeah, that's lingo. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. all that's old school type lingo, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know, you guys done flipped it out. Niggas standing on business now. You oh, know they standing on business. <laughs> <laughs> King up, you know, King, did you see King? King and Drew, Drewski, they going back and forth about that. Uh uh. Yeah, he he got mad because King King say he used you know acting like he can use his word. He got the clothing line now. King standing on business. So they say that uh, Drewski was doing a uh, uh, you know how big he is. He was doing a video shoot down there in ATL, and Lil King pulled up on no, business, you stood lie. on top of the car. No, you lie. No, no, no. <laughs> Look, King did not King, pull up yeah, on Drew. Look, King pulled up. Look, King yeah, pulled, he up. pulled up. The King pulled probably up. had some real that gangsta. <laughs> He pulled up. He pulled up. He like, pulled up. Like, like, wasn't nothing. Drewski was shoot that. I'm standing. He said, "Yeah, he was saying he don't like that." He say, "Nigga, you can't use that, bro. You know what? Nobody doing that before me." Nah, they what? I mean, I can't. He say he the one made it popular. He, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Drewski done stole. What is up with Drew? Drewski will get a nigga for his stuff. Man, King did not pull but up. Yes, on he Drewski. did. Oh. And, he, and the nigga didn't check in when he got down there. You seen it, didn't you? Yeah, the nigga didn't you check seen in. Him? No! Yeah, man. nigga, you sleeping. Nigga, that nigga stand on business every time. You seen him when he got that backpack, Lil' King? Yeah. You get, yeah, he'll get, he'll do something <laughs> to you. Lil' King. You better that. understand the nigga standing on business for real. <laughs> oh, that little nigga. Sorry, man. <laughs> His daddy say he gonna do it. So yeah. He, yeah, so he gonna really get out. He gonna get out. Man, I'm gonna tell you the story that T.I. told when we went to the show, man. And I ain't told this story. And T.I. don't get mad at me for telling. He said the little nigga was in the house when, when they got him caught with all them guns. He, you know, when T.I. got caught with all them guns, they came to the house and the feds came in, and when they came, they shot something through the window and it hit King. He wasn't by about five or six, three or four, young nigga. So he say he knew King was out of control when years later, King was in there arguing with the brother and sister and say, nigga, you wasn't in there. He was at the grandma house. Yeah. Nigga, you wasn't in there when the feds run up in there on us. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, he's serious. He think he out there in them streets for real. King will get off, though. Yeah, I believe it. It be the ones that really feel like they got something to prove. They going to do it. Yeah, he gonna, he gonna get so out. So that standing on business is real official. Oh, he started that. <laughs> he started that. He started that. Let's talk about the music, man. So we, down in Houston, right? You're like you got a studio. Yeah, I got a studio. Mm -hmm. How did you? What? Where did you? Okay, you you just papered up, nigga. Man, something like that, man. God dang me up. You know what I mean? Like shit. <sighs> Really, my partner showed love and threw it to me for the low, man. What? And I copped that bitch from him, yeah, and I just turned that bitch to See how y'all talk? To see how you did all that? Cop that bitch and that? That's a blessing, nigga. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a blessing. Yeah, yeah, that's the old school too. Oh, that was a blessing. That was Jesus. a blessing, nigga. <laughs> throw, oh, yeah, he throwed it to me. You don't got to know, nigga. That was a blessing. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm so throwing it to, <laughs> throw it to him. But, you know, really a light 40 by all I got that boy from him for. That's hard. Cool. And, and, but you, you talk like that's not. I, that that I mean, people don't realize. I remember I told somebody that, you know, even this business. I, I remember somebody asking about getting in the business. I said it's gonna take you at least thirty five to forty to do it. At the For time, sure. I think we had three or four spots, and they was trying to get into the business. They thought I was just capping on. Oh yeah, you gonna call nigga, Each one of these gonna hit you for thirty five or forty. For sure. Easy when the, when you start looking at the build up. You know what I mean? In the yeah, build out, right? Yeah, yeah. You gotta have it. You gotta have a little capital. Yeah, orchestrating it, getting it yeah. in order. All yeah, that. and then that ain't even talking about your, your your employees and stuff. You really gonna get down? It's going up. Paperwork, all that. Business is not cheap. Business is organized, structured, and you do have to have some capital budget to do it. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about it, man. So you get the studio. How do you know how to operate a studio? How do you build it out? What do you do when you first get the studio? What Do you get a booth? Was the booth already in there? Look, he had booths already in there. He had five rooms in there wow. when I got there. But I had, um, I wanted more space. So one room, I just knocked it completely out. Okay. And, um, I had a, I knocked one room completely out and turned it into just a lobby kitchen. Okay. And so I took the booth out of there and then left every other room in there. Like, so now it's four rooms instead of five. And I just made one lobby kitchen area and um, it was already nice, but I just, I was already like a high class little, little kid in my mind. So when I got older and got a little money, I kept that high class with mm -hmm. it. So... I just wanted to make it look very, very nice and white. And white is my favorite color, too. So when they say white is not a color, it is mm. a color. It's my favorite color. So you the male Lisa Ray. The male you, Lisa Ray? Yeah. Lisa Ray like white? Dude, you, you don't even know who Lisa Ray is. I do know Lisa okay. Ray. Okay. You never see her no other color but white. Oh, now that you say that. Well, I, Lisa Ray was in a movie, wasn't she? Yeah. Well, that wasn't Player Club, was And it? she was, yeah. Yeah, all right. And yeah. she the Brad's sister. But she wasn't in all white in that movie. Not in the movie, but okay, if you that's see her. I remember her from, yeah, though. Yeah, but if you see her in a regular, she's always in white. She's, like, known for always wearing white. Yeah, that's a favorite yeah. color? That's, yeah, that's all you see her in. Yeah, for sure. I love white. But most studios, because it looks better. It makes everything look brighter, especially when you're taking videos and footage and stuff like that, mm -hmm. to do all white. So did you go around and like look at other studios to try to figure out how you wanted yours to look? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out House of Hits, man. I was trying to copycat y'all <laughs> shit, but y'all shit is just too bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out House of Hits, man. I ain't gonna lie. I know, I know Vinny uh, looked at the doors and was like, what the fuck? I was just like, bro, it's just, <laughs> it's just I mean, it's beautiful. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I did my own shit, you know what I'm saying? And went my own way with it, but... Just with the all white, I mm -hmm. knew it could come to life because right. House of Hits is all white. And I'm like, bro, I done Got seen it. the all white studio before. So I know I can do mine like mm -hmm. how I want to do it, you know. But yeah, that was it. That's cool. So let me ask you a question on because um, you being from East Texas, who is the best out of East Texas to you? Like, who's the best artist? Yeah. I mean, I ain't going to lie. Or should I say, who is the king of East Texas? I mean, King of East Texas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't be careful. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna crown nobody, but mm -hmm. I am gonna say this right here. Say it. They can't fuck with me. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't gonna crown nobody, you feel me? But I am gonna say we got niggas out there doing their thing like Seco P, T Jones, you know, Lil Bubba, myself, you feel me? We got some niggas really out there in East Texas doing their shit, Cap 10. You know, it's a lot of niggas in East Texas doing their thing, but. I ain't gonna crown nobody because we really had never had no one <sighs> look like this. 
You mm. feel me? Like the shit we doing, the people mm-hmm. I just named, like Seiko, like T Jones, like they got platinum records. Uh, Seiko got a platinum record. T Jones, he looked like a platinum artist. You know, Icy, you know, a bunch of Jews, a mm-hmm, bunch of mm-hmm. Cubans. So, you know what I mean? I just really, uh, like, you know what I mean? The reason why I asked because we had T Jones on here recently, and he he said he's the king of um, East Texas. That's the name he gave himself. He is the king of East Texas. Yeah, so that's the like, reason why I'm trying to see. Yeah, look, this see one thing I can say. You know what I'm saying? If we all kings in our heart. You feel me? So like I say, my nigga a king. You know I ain't gonna lie, I'm a king. You feel me? But uh, when I say king of East, when we say king of East Texas, you know what I mean? Like, what would you think a king of East Texas should be? Like, what should be the requirements to be the king? Let's just quit beating around the bush. What? You didn't you say T. Jones? He, he, yeah, he, yeah, okay, he said. Well, is he, you want to know who the king is? I mean, the king is the nigga who but, worked the hardest, who make the biggest hit right now. Seiko P, the only platinum artist that I know of down there. Who else down there? Bone said he was the biggest artist because of the the record sale. Uh, that uh, six foot. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm bragging. Do you even know who Bone, Bone is? Uh-uh. See, she got a big engine nose out of you. That's old school. That's bone. Yeah, where he from? He, he from Atlanta, Atlanta Texas. Texas. Where? Atlanta, Look Texas. How you say that's not East Texas. That's East you Texas. You crazy. Nigga, that is how East Texas. That from <laughs> that, no, that's right. No, this is right where I'm from, like down in the woods. This is right, right by the Louisiana State line. It's more East Texas than anything that's now. Not East Texas. That that you is. crazy. That's where I'm from. So I know it's East that's Texas. East Texas. East Texas is that's all the way. East Texas East, East Texas Tyler. actually. When you look at East Texas, even from Texarkana, all the way from New Boston, all the way across to Nacogdoches. The thing is, you got to understand, man, uh, East Texas will go a long ways. That's why it's so hard. When you look at all the artists down there, it's a litany. I'm doing all the rap all the way back up to Palestine, my nigga. Yeah. That's a long way. Athens, my nigga, they call it everything. That's what me and uh, little, what's that, the, the little white girl name, what's her name? Tay Money. Tay Money. That's what I was talking she to her about Athens, in there. Huh? Yeah, she from Athens. I never met her, but I she heard been she on here. But okay. the thing is, East Texas is a big area, bro. It's just people don't. And But again, the reason we pimp, we love pimp so much is because he broke down those barriers when it come down to Texas, the South. We got to yeah. stop doing that, bro. We got a lot of, it's okay to have some friendly competition. Don't get it twisted. But this Texas, my nigga. Texas, I wanna, I, I, and, and, and it is what it is. You know, I just talked to some boys out of San Antonio last night. I'm yeah. going down there and interview them. Uh-huh. I'll get down, bro. You can not. What? I've been to Waco. You know, I had Waco Tron and all of them on, and uh, High Boy West, and they were coming through here. I, oh, I went up there, too. That's the way it go, man. I got to put light on everything that we're doing down here, mm-hmm. and we got to push this information up. Yeah. So, And you working, and that's the part that I love, the fact that you working like you working. Yeah. You got to be focused, man. You can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't let you can't let off these niggas necks, bro. Mm-mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? So when I you, put on their neck till they start telling lies. That's real. Yeah. So, so talk to me about that the, the new song. I don't know; it ain't out yet, but I heard you got a the the the, the Kevin the Kevin Gates banger, man. Let's talk yeah, about that. Yeah, I got that. a record coming out with uh OT and Gates. Uh, shout out Mexican OT, you feel me? And um, bro, it just it it been a headache though, you know, trying to deal with that shit, you know, because it's just with a major label involved and shit. So, I kind of just fell back on that shit. Um. Cause shit, man, I ain't really like the way business was being orchestrated and shit with it. I so. get it, but still, you, 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 man, you talented, bro. Let me tell you something about God, man. He got this ray on you called favor. So yeah. whatever you touch, you got the Midas touch. Everything you touch gonna turn to gold. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So what you hit that. So at the end of the day, now that you have done that, now you gotta, you gotta, you gotta embrace everything, and you gotta go into it positive as well. I know you might not like the business or you might not like something about it, but God got something behind that he going to do for you that's going to be bigger than you could even ever think or ask. Yeah, well, I'm going to say this, too. Uh, shit, I invested, uh, artists invest in yourself, too, because I invested, uh, you know, at the time, OT was on the rise. So I think he wanted like 3500 or something at the time. Okay. And I invested in that, and I, um, I ended up getting a verse from him. Well, the label heard it, and... They want to blowing us up about it. That's hard. The rest. That's hard. So you see what I'm saying? A little 3500 they done offered a hundred grand on the table. Uh putting get Kevin Gates on it. That there itself probably a cost you damn near eighty mm-hmm. to a hundred. So just just, you know, a bunch of shit hit the table with that small smaller investment. So always invest in yourself. It ain't gotta be nothing crazy. Now I ain't saying go go buy no feature from an artist. 
that ain't got shit going and it ain't worth it and you ain't gonna recoup none of your money back. It ain't worth it, you feel me? But, you know, some relationships are worth it, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you gotta pay to play with this game because it's, it, it costs, man. Bro, you got this, this it costs attitude. You got all this stuff going on. Uh, but there was a time when you was homeless, right? Yeah. Let's talk about that for a car. second. Like, like you so why was you sleeping in the car? Was how that, old were you at that time? How big was the car, uh, nigga? How old was I? Yeah. Funny yeah. old school funny. <laughs> that funny got a oh, big long seat. Old school yeah. long. We yeah. had enough room, man. <laughs> you feel me? And then yeah. I went to Oklahoma, you know what I'm saying? And uh I went to welding school out there. What? You well? Yeah, I'm well. I'm cold, man. Niggas just don't know that. And I, and I ain't shame of the shit. I love you it. Well, you can well, but do you don't do it now. You ain't you ain't messing with nah, no well. It's too hot, my nigga. I'm it's too hot that, that stuff be popping off. I be thinking that stuff boy, gonna hurt a nigga. Get on my arm right now, man. nigga. I'm gonna shit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Say, nigga, make a nigga poop. That shit hot, boy. <laughs> what do you think? Nah, for real, man. Well, hey, what do you think? And, and, and I'm gonna, I am do this sometime, too. Um, what do you think about about the uh, the comedians, man, that's uh, that's really um, like like they beefing and stuff. Did you ever see that coming? You know, did you ever see that before? I seen when they was trying to compare Dan Banks to uh, Drewski and shit. Is that? Oh, you talking about with the no, cat just Williams. all Cat Will. It's a whole bunch of them. Did all you watch that interview? Cat Will, yeah. He so you think Cat Will the one that? I feel like he was telling the truth though, on a lot of shit. You think he the one popped it off? Yeah, bro, but look, look at the Cedric the Entertainer shit. No mm-hmm. offense to Cedric the Entertainer. Man, said, don't Johnson. play with Cedric the Entertainer. Hey, Johnson uh, Family uh, Vacation is one of my favorite movies. That nigga <laughs> said, somebody get the cheese puffs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, for real, though. But look, I really went back and watched all those videos, and he a lot of shit was facts. Now, I ain't saying Cat wasn't putting a little extra sauce on a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of shit like that, that hey, bro. That spaceship in the little, you know, you know what I'm talking about, uh, Cedric the Entertainer with the spaceship, and he was one of them was with the car. Yeah, he stole that. He stole it. He stole it. Oh, so you, 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 that man. A lot of them niggas stealing jokes from each other. They yeah. say Cat Williams stole a joke from Jay Smooth. It's a bunch of them stealing. They up every night trying to think how to make a nigga laugh. You got to remix it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remix it a little bit. Uh, so, um, you know, did, did he do it? You know, did did he do it? I'm going to ask you that. Did he steal it? Did, did he do it? P. Diddy. Did Diddy do Ooh, it? Did Meek Mills do it? Did Diddy do it? Did Meek Mills do it? Did who? who did yeah, nigga. Look, I'm gonna speak on the Meek, bro, because <laughs> I'm probably gonna be one of the first niggas to say this on the internet, bro. I honestly feel like Meek Mill name just got tied into some bullshit. It was on the paperwork that they got. No, they said Philadelphia rapper that dated Nicki Minaj. They never said they that. Didn't they didn't but say Meek. But they called they but academic said Meek allegedly. At, at, and at look, is on it. Act got a big enough <laughs> name to run some shit up because the internet is powerful, more powerful than a nigga. So Meek defending himself don't stand a chance against Act reposting some shit like that and saying, Meek Mill. So like I just feel like <laughs> I don't know though. And then they trying to show the pool video of Diddy calling them daddy. They keep on showing that. But bro, that. look how Diddy was calling Fab and them daddy in the interview. You made Fabulous uncomfortable on the drink champ. So he just like to call people dad. Do you think that this is true about Diddy? Because Diddy, <laughs> Diddy got a lot going on. It ain't about just the woman. Is is the man? Diddy got some power, bro. I don't know. Boy, look, allegedly they saying all this stuff, man. But they done pulled a lot of his, his endorsements. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Just the way you calling people daddy and all that, and this all this shit coming out about you, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all this shit coming out, I ain't gonna say whether it is or not. Man, it is. It's fucking. Diddy, you did that shit. Damn, boy, that's a lot of damn people. Shout out to Diddy, man. I hope you can get through this, man. And if if, if this stuff is real, hey, man, you gotta stop what you're doing, man. We need to get you some help. Mm. Uh, back to the trap. Yeah. What was how did how did they put how did you put that together? Oh, uh, back to the trap. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit, man, fuck with my little cousin, man, that came to the shop with me uh, up here, man. Okay. Uh, I was just sitting at the crib and shit. I was just like, man, look, bro, I'm gonna ride myself in a video. And a lot of people didn't uh, notice that was me in the bed. You know what I'm saying? But if you go back and watch the video, that's me in the bed. Uh, sleep, and then I walk in there, and I steal a bag at the closet. I walk out, then I wake up, you know, and I'm chasing myself the whole video. If you pay attention, the whole video, I'm chasing myself. You know what I'm saying? So, I was just trying to be creative with my videos, dog. And um, I really want to get way more creative, though. Like, you, 
Lil, shout out to Lil Running Mother Elf, man. He do some great videos. I don't know if you ever watch. I ain't been watching him lately. You got to check him out. He always do very cinematic. Very creative. Very creative. Acting scene look like almost fighting scenes. Yeah. All kind. Yeah, he, go, he go in. You need, you need to get with Lil Running. Shout out to Lil Running Mother mm -hmm. Elf, man. He go in on the come to animations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah he I gonna get, get out. out with him. I need to get up <laughs> now with him for sure. I'm trying Y'all can to do man. something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's good to do different looks, man. Well, do you have any music for the ladies? You niggas, you young niggas get on my nerves. Um, bro, y'all don't like to sing to the ladies or nothing. You niggas I too got a hard, bro. Anniversary. Like I'm not gonna lie, bro. bro. You niggas hard, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all outside. Y'all stepping. Y'all got a lot going on, bro. Y'all standing on business. Come on, my <laughs> nigga. What is y'all gonna do for the ladies? That shit just man. Like Huncho be jamming. He be talking oh, that, to the yeah, ladies. Yeah. Huncho be jamming. Yeah, that nigga fi figured it out. Them niggas figuring it out. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Them ladies and the uh, Mexicans and shit and the white folks gonna buy you music. Us niggas ain't spending no money on music. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. So you gonna try to cross over and do a little bit more to cater to them or no? Yeah, yeah. I've been trying. I've been trying. I got it's hard shit. when you in there talking, you know, with them sticks. It's hard when you've been scarred and like you said, and then when you really live in this shit and shit you going on, man, it's hard to walk in the booth and start saying it. So you ain't got no good relationship going on in your life right uh -oh, now. Oh, I got, I got a relationship. I'm in a relationship. Okay, so you're supposed to be able to, to, to do something for the ladies because you happy. I think I've been a guy to run. Yeah, I got a relationship. Yeah. 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 I'm going home, nigga. I'm, yeah, I'm, be going, I'm going home. Because you happy, right? I'm going home. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. So I'm you don't go home. to the strip club? You have to perform at the strip club. I ain't gonna club. lie. I love the strip club, but my God, I don't like me going. I'm just well, she be, as soon as you get home, she tripping. Smell like, you smell like cheap strip. You smell like coochie and, and, and body like oil. <laughs> like what the hell, like man? They been sitting on you. Get out of there. Get out. Go. Uh-uh. Get Go off of me. Go that's take a, a shower. Go take a shower. That's it. Go get take out. a shower. Go take you a shower, like a man. Cheap stripper. Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, you can even get in the shower. You already feeling high because you just coming in. She tripping. I know I had a problem when I came home and told my bitch. All strippers ain't hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you told her that? Ooh. What'd she say? What'd she what say? did she say? Oh man. <laughs> look, look at you. She ready to be mad. What did she say? <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to see how you would have responded. I'm just curious, what did she say? I mean, I can't even remember what she said, man. I'm I'm gonna say whatever comes to my mind though, man. Baby, yeah. Man, I love it though. Man. Yeah, so, yeah. Man. That runaway? Runaway, that's that's you, ain't it? Runaway. Yeah. Which one was that? Is that a song you got out? Or is it, is it niggas with your same name on here? Probably so, bro. Man, them niggas. Them I ain't gonna lie. Some niggas been doing some bullshit. I yeah. said a little nigga named MG Lil Bubba on here. Oh, damn. It was a little nigga named Bubba versus Lil Bubba. <laughs> oh, yeah. They going crazy right now. What do you do to better, better like, brand Separate yourself, yourself you, from everybody you else? I mean, shit. Uh, honestly, shit. Nothing. You working hard, right? Yeah, I'm working hard. I really be honest with you, Bubba Sparks to say you stole his name. Fuck Bubba Sparks. Whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even know who that was? Booty, 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 rocket in the I was just fucking with you, Bubba Sparks. <laughs> I think he lost weight, and, and when he lost weight, he kind of took his momentum away. Damn. Nah, I fuck with Bubba Sparks. I'm just fucking Is with him. Is he still man. doing his thing? I don't know. You ain't heard from him. I don't know, but you both spots. And it was hard little, in his day. Brother, he was hard in his day. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who did you listen to coming up, though? Coming up? Outside yeah. of PMC, of course. You know, Pops had me on the old school music, but when I started jamming my own music, yeah. I started jamming that Gates. So you you really was a gay fan? Blood, Kevin Gates. You hadn't met him yet, or did you just send the verses over, or what? No, no. Um, nah, hell no, I was in high school. No, I'm saying like this new song y'all did together. Y'all just sent verses. Yeah, the label sent it to him. So y'all gonna do the video though? Yeah, we're gonna do the video in Houston. And you gonna get to meet him? Mm hmm. That's gonna I be still hard. I never met him. That's gonna be hard. I grew up on that boy. Shout out to DJ Chose. Chose was just here the other day. Shout out to DJ Chose. And he, he, he be, him and Gage really got a great relationship, great rapport. They do music together. You ever work with him? Uh, I was supposed to. We got a bunch of pictures and shit, but we ain't never. You ain't never hit the studio together? Him. Because you own your own studio, you don't be trying to do nothing with I me. I mean, but you know, everybody was doing their own thing coming up. So, like the time I locked in with Chose, you know, I really didn't just have a spark behind me like that. So, like the spark I got behind me now, I feel like if we get in that blend right now, it'll be a different type of time. You know what I'm saying? How how was it, though? Like, like 
being from Palestine but trying to pave your way and ended up in Houston, what gave you that motivation to move over there and just work with them boys like that? I mean, just you feel like in the country, bro, is you feel like you ain't going to really make it out of there, you know, trying to do music. It's hard. You know, you don't got the connections. You don't got the relationships. You don't got the fucking venues, the studios. You don't got access to really none of the stuff that you really need to get out of the game. Uh, I mean, to get out of the streets, get out of the slums, get out of the bottom. So um, I just came to Houston. Really, like I said, I went to Houston on some trying to well shit, like at 18, trying to become a welder and shit, trying to really make my family happy and shit. But I, I, I've been in the streets since high school, so, you know, that shit wasn't for me. It didn't last long, especially, I'm going to tell you what made me quit. Um, I was working a job in a, uh, shout out Ron, uh, his old boss. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ron. Old Ron, boss. hey, man, make sure you get that right there over there. Hey, shout uh, out If Ron. you don't move that right there, we're going to do that now. Shout Ron out. giving direction. Oh, shout out Ron at Headworks. <laughs> Ron told me, I don't want no job that you would give to no nigga. What? Yeah. Real life. Damn. My mom wanted me to sue so I can have a company, but you know what I told her? What'd you tell her? I'm gonna go be a rapper, mama. This shit ain't <laughs> for me, man. I don't wanna sue that, man. I just wanna go be a rapper. Say, when, some when you made that uh, uh, Trill Talk, No Pill Talk artist to watch list, did you did you see that? Yeah, I seen that. What did you think about it? Uh, shit. It really didn't move me. I, I appreciate them that they appreciate mentioned the nigga. You know what but do you think you get your just do? In East Texas. Hell no. Like, Why? Like, I feel Let's talk like about that. The streets, I feel like like if you know, you know what I mean, you're going to bat for me, you're going to war for me, you know, and really, they really just, certain people just can't fuck with me, you know, if you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if you tune in. But if you're not hip, you just not hip, you know what I mean? Once you get hip, I feel like I'm, I get my due credit for sure. But the more, the bigger this shit get, I feel like I'm getting my respect because... It's just, man, it's levels to this shit. And, like, as bad as, I don't care how good you rap, you just got to beat me across the board. Mm. And you feel me? Not just music. Music is only 10% of this game. You got to get familiar with the artists. I'm going and I'm rubbing shoulders with everybody. You feel me? When we rub shoulders, they going to understand, like, oh, yeah, he one of them, and he not one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, he, he the one for sure. And like I say, man, I go stand beside anybody and shit. We're going to blend. We're going to blend in. You feel me? And then one thing about it, shit, that ain't nothing different from me. That's real. See, a lot of people feel like the next man is something different. Hey, bro, I'm kicking with my partners that's broke. I'm going to kick with my partners that multimillionaires up 50 M's. One of my partners might be $50 in his pocket. One of them might got 50 million. We're going to get together and we all going to laugh and talk normal. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to bring it together all the way. You feel me? Because I know I'm the one. That's why I feel like in East Texas, they just don't know that shit. They don't know that I'm the one yet. So they don't really, they really feel like in their mind that they the one. But it's when they really realize that I'm the one, they don't want to try to get beside me. And it just might be too late. Wow. So is it like, have you tried to work with people in East Texas and they just, it didn't happen? Or do you feel, who's, who's the music that you listen to? I know you and T. Jones just did something together. Yeah, we got some hard shit together. How did, I mean, that's a link right there. So when I, you, when I you love did, Jones. I love T. Jones. So that's what I'm saying. So you don't you feel like you guys can bridge some of these gaps if you feel like there is gaps in East Texas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like, see what I'm saying? Project, we finna get ready to drop and shit, but... um. I feel like we we'll, somebody gonna have to break through the door, and not just be heard. We gotta bust through the door. Like shout out Mexican OT, he just knocked the door down. Yeah. Like I feel like we gotta knock the door down. <coughs> but also too, I'm not in no rush to get there. Cause when I get on top, I'm gonna stay on top. So it's no rush to get there. Cause the faster you come, the faster you go. Mm -hmm. And like niggas say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's real. real. That's real. And so like I say, I'm not in no rush to get there. I'm going to take my time because it's going to be beautiful when it get there. Kind of like the baby situation. Like the baby with his shit, it was like so beautiful when he blew up because shit, the grind, the, everything he put into it. So when it came, it was way more appreciated with me. Shit, I'm putting the floors in my studio. I'm knocking the walls wow. down. I'm doing a bunch of shit. So 
when I see big artists like Peasy, shout out Peasy, you know what I mean? Louis Ray, shout out them and shit, Lil Jeremy. All them coming in there in my studio going in. recording. Yeah, they recording all night. They I come back, they in there six, seven in the morning. Getting to it. Yeah, but it feels <coughs> good. It feels really good because I know I done put blood, sweat, and tears on these floors that they standing on playing, cracking jokes and just bullshitting around on. But it feels good because you done sat there and put the grind in and the work in. So, yeah, man. No, I think I think you figuring it out. Like, the thing you got to understand is, like, it's just, it's working. It's out working. It's, it's staying up them late nights. It's doing the things that you're already doing that's making people see you because... The, the body of work that I look at when I research you, it looks professional. It looks like you're staying on, your, on, on top of what you're doing. You might could do a little more, but, hey, man, a lot of people not even doing what you're doing. Yeah. Pe me people not meeting the people you're meeting in them same circles. You're getting in some of those rooms that these guys want to be in. Yeah, for sure. So you, I think the Houston move probably was good for you, huh? Yeah, for sure. Because they opened the door. How do people respond to you in Houston when you like out at the Gallery of Malls, just out in the back? Ain't gonna lie, I was uh, leaving. I was going to go get some backwards a couple of days ago and shit. Um, as I'm walking into the store and shit, this guy in his work uniform. Now, put in mind, I used to weld, so this work uniform. I'm familiar with this work uniform. Yeah. But it was God, bro. Cause wow. I'm walking through the door and my hair flat. I just woke up. You know how you have hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit flat. Just woke up, nigga. I'm just trying to grab some backwoods. I ain't got on no socks. I'm trying to go in and come right out. I'm talking about uh, little, little bit of shorts, man. I'm like, man, I walk in, dude. Like, he hold the door open for me and shit. I walk by and he like, oh, shit. You that rapping, nigga, little bubba. You feel me? And just pull his phone out and go to record, man. That's hard. And I'm just so like, look at damn, I ain't ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. looking at that nigga. They like, get you at the meat market. I oh, know, boy. Wherever they see you, and they know you. They gonna be like, my mind, I never get to see you again. They gonna work. I gotta get it. I gotta get yeah, it right now. Right but now. I remember bending those shoes, and now like I walk in the room and I can see whoever. I ain't pulling my phone out. But at the time, like I, I, I just I appreciated that so much because back in the gap, you know, you pull your phone out, you you just could feel like the person was uncomfortable to take a picture. They didn't want that. Like, I don't never want one of my fans to feel like that. If they pull that phone out on me, I'm finna turn up in that camera for that little short amount of time that he got me for. Because I remember being in them shoes and wanting to get this nigga on camera. Mm -hmm. it's gonna, it's, man, I got people in my phone in L.E. Chopper before he was famous to this day, but I knew who he was. It's still in my phone to this day. Like, I know how that makes me feel seeing someone that I look up to in the game and shit, or that I just know, like somebody just famous, a celebrity. So I, you and NLE chopped, and you knew him already. No, I didn't know him. I just seen him in South by Southwest, and I had recorded. Let's talk about ahead. it. Let's talk about. I'm gonna it. ask that question. Yeah, today we found um, out something about him. Do you think that this is real? <laughs> Oh man, y'all gonna put me Do on the Do you think that this That's is your real? That's your boy. That's your boy. chopped. I saw a picture of him getting she called a me and tattooed told me that. on his face. Of um, Christian, Christian Rock. Rock. I don't think that's true. <laughs> It'll be everywhere. It's tattooed. It's on his page. No. Show me. Pull it up right now. <laughs> the moment of silence. <laughs> I'm pulling it up. <laughs> Chopper. Hey. Why is she doing that, man? Think of the top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any, any genre. genre. Top top ten. Top, top three. Top three. three. Oh, Just dead or alive. Any genre. Michael Jackson. Number one. Um... Pop number two. Um, man, I hate to say it, man, but dang, they're gonna hate me for this one right here. Any genre, dead or alive. Mm hmm. Give it up. Y'all think I'm tripping if I say baby? It's ba oh, little baby little or dub baby. baby? Little baby. Little baby, the, you, that's your top three. I ain't never heard a nigga rap like little baby. Damn. Little baby can rap his ass off. I just feel like people got tired of it. He's still rich as hell. He got his money. Bro, that little nigga be rapping, bro. If I was uh -oh. one of the richest runners in Georgia on my mama. That's fake. That's he said, "Cause that, he know him." Why you feel like it's fake? Huh? Why you feel that's his page? 
So you saying he did it for clout? Yeah, clout, clickbait. <laughs> you don't believe it? You see me going through comments. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want to believe it. Somebody said, I know it's fake. All the comments saying the same shit I'm saying is fake. Wow. No, and when I'm going to tell you, when you why. Look close, when you look close on it, the, you could even, you know like when you just get a fresh tattoo, you know how it's red around it? Mm -hmm. It's even red all around it. No, it's fake. I'm going to tell you how I know why? it's fake. It don't even look like no fresh tattoo. That nigga yellow. Y'all the same skin color. That shit will <laughs> be fresh Turn three red. hours ago yeah, yeah, it go. is gonna, it's gonna be a bunch of it's gonna be black as hell for sure it looked too dull like, too it, smooth it, yeah it looked too dull like it's it, I, don't, I don't believe it I feel like in a couple days it's gonna be something else you know so in that case what you feel like cause social media take things to another level in today's society what is too far for somebody to take it to cause nowadays we see stuff popping up like and people are like wow like really I ain't gonna lie, I don't feel like, I feel like when I say too far, I just feel like Blueface really got up under his skin. For Blueface to be in jail and bro still got shit going on, mm -hmm. like doing shit like that, I feel like he got up under his skin in a different way. You know, Blueface might still be able to take terrorize and shit. Blueface a real gangster in his heart. You know what I'm saying? School yard, bro. So, <laughs> Blue goddamn me probably still terrorize and shit. I feel like he really got up on his uh, bro skin. Mm. That's what I feel. What, it, that's why this, he did this that. This is the last and final question. Like, what separates you from all the other Texas artists? Um, What separates me? And that one come in from Trill Talk, no Peel Talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said that to me. Ah, uh, shit. I'm, I'm a boss. And, and, not, and like a lot of other artists, it's just they make music. I don't make only make music, you know. I don't box trucks. I don't studio for artists to come in and make music. You know, it's just a boss situation. Like a bunch of artists. In my and a nigga on Boss Talk. Yeah, and I'm on Boss Talk. Shout out Boss Talk one on one. Man, it's different, man. ain't it? It hit different. Man. It hit different. It hit different. It come feel on, good man. to be in the building, man. Appreciate Boy, my Texas man. alumni, they come through, man. man I love it. Hey, feel good to be in the building, dog. <laughs> Man, thank you so much for coming on the show, man. How can people get old to you if they're trying to reach out? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all this the same. YouTube, MG Lil Bubba, Spotify. You feel me? Go get in my playlist on Spotify. It's a bunch of other artists in there. YTB, Fat D, baby. Money, man. They got a bunch of artists. I got my own playlist on Spotify, though, man. You can find me on there. MG Lil Bubba. Shout out Boss Talk 101. Man, what a boss is talk. And we out. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, get in these comments, man. These clips that's about to come, make sure you knock them out. Get to them. I was going to go down. Check it, man. <laughs> they going to be mad at us. Uh, <laughs>